immigrant buses were sent to cities like Chicago, D.C., New York. Many communities are just struggling with exactly what to do with all those people now. And Texas has bused, as you know, hundreds of thousands of migrants to Democratic-led cities in protest of border policy, specifically from this administration. Now, along with many of the cities, Chicago is at a housing breaking point. Hundreds of them now staying and sleeping at O'Hare International Airport as an overflow shelter. Emily Finn is live for us at O'Hare, and Emily, advocates are sounding the alarm about the conditions there. They certainly are, Marky. Uh, we do have a bit of an update for you. We just spoke with a Chicago police officer a couple minutes ago who confirmed that there are at least 433 migrants staying here at the airport. The migrants that we spoke to say that the conditions here are inhumane and they have some concerns about their well-being. As groups of migrants flown in from states like Texas continue to arrive at Chicago's O'Hare Airport almost daily, concerns about their living conditions continue to rise. While they find another place for us to go to. Some have been here for 10 days, but people keep leaving and the city of Chicago will take us and will find a place for us to stay. This man is from Venezuela and has been staying at the O'Hare's makeshift shelter for four days, hidden behind a black curtain in the middle of the airport. He says the facility is overcrowded with hundreds of migrants. Many are children. The groups of more than 400 migrants are well over the capacity limit set by the city and a huge spike from the merely 31 migrants at the beginning of August. News Nation was able to obtain photos and videos from behind the curtain, showing confined spaces of families sleeping on the ground. At the airport, we tried to speak with city workers and organizers with favorite health care staffing who was overseeing the migrants' care, but they told us they were instructed not to speak to the media. No one likes to live there. It's just a process that we have to wait for, to be called, and then we can leave. You're not going to be there for months. You're only there for days while the city finds a place for you. This comes as cities like Chicago and New York have just passed one year since they began receiving busloads of tens of thousands of migrants from the southern border. The airport shelter is just one example of many throughout the cities, with groups of migrants staying at police stations and vacant hotels as officials attempt to find permanent solutions for them. One migrant, who feared repercussions if they spoke with our News Nation team on camera, sent us this text message saying, quote, Here we are truly in conditions that are not at all humane. There are many children sick to their stomachs and other things because the food they are being given is not adequate food. And the 433 migrants are staying here, hidden behind these black curtains. They are well over capacity at this point. Uh, in fact, four times over capacity. And the police officer that we spoke to uh, had some concerns about this as well. There was a volunteer medical group that was responding to a, a, an emergency assistance situation here at the airport where they treated 300 of the migrants here behind this black curtain. 100 of them were children, and the children were expressing concerns as they were vomiting from the food provided to them here, Adrian and Marky. At least that's what they're saying. Uh, these uh, folks have taken a very long trip. Uh, we don't really know what your stomach would feel like after walking for miles and then getting on a bus. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.